Hi, this is Katie Tunstall. You're watching Mariners TV. Sam, your first game at Mariners Park today. What did you make of it? Oh, it was. Um, it started off a bit shaky because obviously I missed um, a chance early on. But you know, as a as a good footballer, you you're confident that, you, that you'll get another one. You know, so lucky enough, I took my second one. And um, today was it was lovely to be be involved in this and see the amount of fans that are here. You know, at the end of the day, we've got the three points, and that's what matters. I guess as a forward, it's all about getting in the right position as much as possible. You got there for the first one, you couldn't really put it away, but did you always feel confident you, you get another one? Of course, as a striker, you've got to be confident in your own ability. You know, I'm a striker that's confident that I'll score goals here. The way that the team play, obviously, you've seen, the fans have seen and they know. And um, today, it's just uh, it's a pleasure to, to be part of this team. Can you talk about your goal as well? You seem to have to go quite low to get the header in. Uh, um, it was like on, the, on my blind side, so I couldn't really see. So it's only late, I've seen it now, and I've darted in and I said, listen, if, if I don't dive, I'll get a bit of stick from the gaffer or money for not diving. It's important as well when you're a striker to get a goal quite early in your time at the club. How pleased are you to get off the mark straight away? Yeah, I mean, I'm pleased to get my first goal, you know, but I'm more frustrated though that I could have come away with two. You know, but it is what it is, I'm happy with one. Happy with that, yeah. And three points, a really good performance from the team as well. You seem to frustrate them quite a lot with the way that you kept the ball and pushed around the pitch. Were you, were you sort of happy to be a part of that? I, I'm... To be, to be um, quite frank with you, the amount of um, possession that we had, it was scary. Even when I came off, to sit back and watch the, the football that was being played, it was amazing to watch. You mentioned the fans here as well, over 1,700. And did that surprise you, seeing how many fans were here? Yeah, I was blown away with the amount of supporters that, that came came today and, and got involved singing, cheering the boys on. Even after the game, fans stayed. You know, so it's a very family club and you, know, you, you get treated like... High, high, that the team should be higher, you know, that the club should be in a league league status. And I haven't witnessed anything like this, you know, so it's a blessing to be here. Brilliant. You haven't, you haven't played for quite a while, so how's the fitness at the moment and how many more games are you looking to, to sort of get you on know, the You know, I'm still working on it, so um, I'll take game by day, game by game, and obviously behind the scenes I'm working hard on my fitness as well, behind closed doors, so gradually I just continue to do what I need to do. For the team, it's seven wins in a row in the league now, eight points clear at the top of the table, still very early days, so is it important to keep so not complacent at this stage? Yeah, of course. I've been in teams where teams get complacent, but all the boys here are level-headed. Everyone's humble. You know, uh, me coming into this as well, I'm humble as well. So, yeah, it's well done. It's a pat on the back. But at the end of the day, we've got another game Tuesday and we need to get three points. And then the following Saturday, three points again and we have to be ruthless. You just finally mentioned on Tuesday that you're back at home at Mariners Park. How much are you looking forward to being back out in front of those fans again? Oh, it's going to be an amazing experience again, you know, to, to be chaired on by these fans. So... Like I said, I'm grateful to be here.